Um, well, let's talk about another girl group that mm-hmm. it's kind of kind of weird. That is, is is weird. Yeah. When they debuted, they didn't do very well. No. And they're finally back, and they're totally different. And that group is called Sonamu, which, by the way, is a group that used to be synonymous with like blah. It, yeah. it, during our podcast, right, right, right. we used to just like make fun no, of Sonamu all it, the though. time for just like being just being just not a good, not good. <laughs> like it, because of their debut was this jank ass hip hop concept that, that, that they were like, not pulling off. Yeah, but it's uh-huh. Sonamu. Anyway, Sonamu with a brand new song, "I Like You Too Much." <laughs> To a song that's called I Like You Too Much. Yeah, so Sonamu, completely much like AOA, they're just like, what? We were a band at that? What? We were a hip-hop group? No. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, they already kind of got out of it a little bit with their last song, Cushion. Mm-hmm. Um, Cushion wasn't super hip-hop-y. But it's, it's a good transition. It's a definitely closer to their debut. Uh, Cushion was closer than this song. This song is totally different. Yeah. Um, this is just that super kind of popular, bright, happy, cutesy, sexy concept that every, well, not every girl group is doing because some girls are doing the fresh ones, right? But this is a concept you've seen a million times. Um, but it's, it's weird. It's so weird to see a group that was originally so hip hop and kind of chic and now they're transitioning into sexy, but, or, I cute, mean, it's, or cute. It's weird, but not weird. Because yeah. it happens to a lot. It happens yeah. to boy groups a lot. Yeah. But usually um, you see it the opposite, true. right? Someone's true. cutesy, and then all of a sudden they're turning into the more mature sound, a more fierce sound, or hip hop sound. And this is kind of like yeah, the other way around. Yeah, yeah, right? that's true. And you know, Sony was under TS Entertainment. TS Entertainment has not been doing great. No, uh, they lost BAP last year. Mm-hmm. Um, they're they don't have many other groups. Like they have mm-hmm. Secret that kind of does okay. They have Untouchables, which don't really do much mm-hmm. um, together. Um, and I think that's it. Um, Anyway, so this song, when we first listened to this song, yeah. we didn't like it. Not at all. It sounded like, I know we use this a, a lot, but it songs haven't been that Frankenstein-y no. uh, in 2016, I think. No. But this song was like a throwback 2015 because it was franken fucking stuff. It was like three or four songs in one and we were just like so confused. Yeah. Like, obviously if you... If we hadn't heard the song before and you played those parts like at separate times yeah. and you say, okay, which parts of these songs like are from the same song? I would say all those songs were different. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we listen to it again mm-hmm. and listen to it again and again. And sometimes Frankenstein can be once you expect it, it's okay. Yeah, right. It, then it becomes a little bit more interesting because you're like, oh, I like this part or I like this part. This part's not so bad, right? right? Like, I think Cheer Up is a good example. Mm-hmm. It is a little frankenstein Um I can't think of another one off the top of my head. But there are also parts, some songs where the frankenstein you're just never okay with, mm-hmm. you know? Um, oh, I think another good example would be Bang Bang Bang, right? Yeah. Bang Bang Bang, super frankenstein at first, but then you get to... You get used you to get it. Used yeah. to it. 
Um, and this song is kind of cool. I actually kind of enjoy the song because parts of it really sound like a musical. Mm. Um, and I don't know if that's the way it was shot, mixed with... Because music, some musical songs are kind of Frankenstein-y. I, I would say um, it just musicals in general are very frankenstein because they have a whole kind of plethora of different songs in one musical, you know? You have your right. happy, cheerful songs and your more somber, like kind of ballad songs and you know this song well i mean they don't usually sing them all together at once. Oh, yeah of course but like this song i think is a good representation of a musical and that it has a lot of different parts. parts but kind of like how a musical has kind of this underlying musical score that brings them all together yeah uh i think this song also kind of has a little bit of that well uh i will say though that in musicals, usually at the end, the very last song is yeah. like a mix of like callbacks to like previous songs. Yeah. But, anyways. Um, but like, I, I think it's like there are parts where like uh, there's like calls to each other mm -hmm. and there's just kind of, it just sounds very musically. Yeah. And I don't know. I, I ended up kind of liking it. Um, Same as me. It, this was not going to be on our list. No. Um, um, I actually. Was originally going to talk about Gugudan. Yes. And then when we were writing about Gugudan, I was like, actually, you know, I think I like Sun yeah. more. And I think you could tell from the asshole we just ripped Gugudan. Yeah. Um, because once we started describing Gugudan, I was like, actually, I don't really have a lot of good things to say about it. Like, yeah. I think I have more good things to say about Sun Yeah. And I really, I you know, the music video mm. has its kind of cool parts. Yeah. Um. A lot of it is shot like, POV like again. Style. They all have like their own thing, mm -hmm. right? Um. And it's like yeah, POV style of like a girl liking a dude too much and then like kind of fucking it up, kind of or like getting yeah. angry or like doing something bad. Yeah. So like the um, first, so the first scene is this guy who's just like eating, and the girl's like made him food. And Although she's, she's dressed like a maid for some yeah, reason. Yeah, and she's cooked like this, you know, 12-course meal and expects him to eat all of it. And he passes out from being yeah. overstuffed. And the second one is like a mechanic lady. And she's just know. so sexy that he just passes he, like, the fuck passes, out. He gets a nose, bloody nose. Yeah, nose bleeding and passes out. out. I can't remember any after that. Yeah. Because um, that sexy girl was fucking sexy. Yeah. Um, she might be like 70. Probably. But... It's weird because then after that like sexy scene where she's wearing like really sexy outfit, like acting all sexy, and it switches to like super cute. Everyone yeah. wearing pink, everyone huh. right like uh uh you can't see much skin at all, right? It's huh. like it, it's such a, a a strange kind of thing. Yeah. Um but it's cute, but not in the middle school goo goo don way, yeah. not in the fresh pletus girls way, um, but it's like cute in like an egg-yo kind of way, I yeah, would say. And probably in the more generic Korean yeah, way. Yeah. I'm not saying it's like different in magic. No, no. Um, but uh, it's more cute that we're familiar with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's a little interesting that like we talk a lot about a lot of girls, right? We talked right. about uh, Brave Girls, mm -hmm. right? And and, and Pletus Girls and Sonamu and, and, and uh, Gugu Dan. Mm -hmm. And all four of them have... Different sounding songs, yeah. right? They're all pretty different sounding songs, good or bad, but they're all pretty different, which yeah. is but, interesting. But the funny thing is, I think uh, maybe Sonamu, out of all of the groups that we've talked about, um, those four groups that we've talked about, I think Sonamu has more the most unique sound, actually, out of all of them. Because I don't think a lot of nope. songs these days are following this kind of musical sound. Right, like when we were talking about Pletus Girls, we're like, oh, this is kind of a fresh, kind of a you know, a pink ish, G friend ish style. And then, you know, when we talk about Pletus, it's like, oh, yes, also, oh, not Pletus, uh, Gugunan. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, this kind of you know, Gugunan does not remind me of anything other than garbage. garbage. <laughs> but Actually, I don't, I didn't even think I was that sad at Gugudan until like recording we started this right now it, yeah. and I'm just like oh man man there's just a lot of things but that, the, that's but, the epiphany I had but the we problem with the Gugudan song is that of all, all the songs that we were talking about that's the chorus I remember the, the clearest yeah is the Gugudan song yeah Da, 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 da. Like I actually don't remember the Sona Moon chorus off the top of my head. Hmm. Um, I don't remember the the Pletus girls. I, I don't remember the Brave Girls one. I only remember I'm a sassy girl. I, mm -hmm. Well, maybe that's the 
that's not the chorus, right? That's mm-hmm. like the kind of like intro, breakdown. outro, right? Yeah. Um, so it's weird to me that the worst song is is the catchiest song. 